Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my laser eye surgery. Uh, the touch-up surgery that I did uh, a couple of days ago, I think it's been a week. I'm sitting here with my Pusheen cat that I got from my boyfriend and uh, it's Wednesday today and it's day si seven, I think, yeah, after the surgery, so it's been a week almost. I did it on last Thursday, so it's uh, kind of like a week. As you can see, I have been able to take off my sunglasses today and uh, I'm not as light sensitive in my right eye anymore, but I do notice that my eye is um, a little bit swollen and it's smaller than the other one, so there's still some healing left to be done and um, it's still quite blurry on this eye when I'm looking like this I can um, I can basically yeah I do see but I cannot read anything so that's uh, the only downside so I think it's work in progress it's um, I'm taking the cortisone eye drops as I am as supposed to and I will be taking them for the next uh, couple of weeks almost three months I think in total to um, kind of help the eye to heal and also to prevent uh, haze to form in the eyes. If I look up closely like this, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can see a difference in how my eye looks like right now after surgery. This one is like more closed uh, on the upper lid. Uh, eyelid and uh, it's not it's a little bit swollen and uh, yeah <laughs> hopefully it will not look like this for long because it looks insane <laughs> I have one tip if you're doing an eye surgery on only one eye and if you want to be able to use the other eye um, for example when you're doing um, for you look watching TV or something like that in the evening Mm, you can buy these ones. They're like eye patches that look like this. Mm, I don't have a good camera right now, so I'm just using my iPhone and the selfie stick because it's the easiest thing to set up right now. Um, they look like this. They're like eye patches. You just put them on like this, and uh, after you, after I'm using the gel that I put in my eye, and uh, I used to just. Put this on in the evening just to be able to watch TV or something like that um, so the eye can rest a little bit so because I noticed that whenever I was blinking uh, it was hurting a lot so as long as I didn't blink and I put some gel on in my eye and then I closed it and added this uh, eye patch it kind of relieved the pressure so that's one of the things. And another thing I noticed during these days, because I've been using the gel that I was showing in the previous video, um, only in this eye. Throughout the day, from one, day one to day five, I use the eye gel in the eye throughout the daytime. But then from day six and onwards, I'm supposed to be using it in the nighttime, so before I go to bed. Um, one thing I noticed was that my eyelashes became really like these ones at the bottom. They became really long and uh, even the upper eyelashes. I will actually do a separate video on this topic because I have been trying out doing eyelash extensions for two months. And uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing any eyelash extensions right now because prior to the surgery I was like uh, I'm not gonna do do it anymore because I kind of got sick and tired of them um, because they I noticed that they harmed my natural eyelashes which were really long from the beginning so I didn't really need to do any extensions but now I have really short ones Except for this eye, which is messed up only because I think I used the gel. The gel made these eyelashes grow during this this week more than the left eye. So I think <laughs> that's the only positive thing about the eye gel. That I think it's similar to using like coconut oil. Uh, you can grow your eyelashes with some oil uh, applied on the lash line so I'm gonna try using that for my natural eyelashes to grow back 
Uh, that's just a side note. I think maybe not everyone is interested in learning that, but maybe for those who want to grow eyelashes and uh, have long and thick ones, they might want to know that this tip actually works. I just wanted to check in quickly today. I mean, now when I'm looking into the uh, iPhone here and I'm filming, I really don't know if I'm like looking strangely with this eye because I cannot really focus at all. Um, I noticed that when I went out yesterday to meet a friend, uh, I was sitting there with, uh, with the sunglasses on just because I wanted to just get out. Oh, what's happening here? I just wanted I just wanted to get out of the house for a bit and um, just talk to a friend and just do some normal things. Uh, she noticed that I was squinting a little bit with my eye. I think it was because I'm I wasn't able to focus on the with my right eye and uh, sometimes it's um, yeah it's uh, difficult to walk around with one blurry eye and one clear eye it's uh, you, you kind of lose the sense of depth in the vision like if I was reaching for sunglasses in the shop I was like I missed out like I was like okay I was touching them but then I was like no they're not there and I was like almost dropping them to the floor you really notice how much you need two eyes to function like it's amazing how how much of a difference it makes to only be using one eye. This is the part two of the video because I noticed that the other video became really long so I just wanted to make two parts. I'm going back to work in two weeks I think. I am off for uh, approximately three weeks from work because this time is uh, one of those times where I'm feeling like this is it, this is the third time and I'm not going to take any chances of uh, um, straining my eyes or doing anything that's going to harm my eyes or the healing process this time so I'm just resting and I'm going to take it easy for the next uh, couple of weeks so yeah I want to hear from you guys in the comment section leave me a comment below tell me how your experience has been if you have done a touch-up surgery if you've done a laser eye surgery I would love to keep in touch with you guys and hear your experience Hey guys, today is day 12 after surgery. I'm just checking in today because it's been a few days and uh, I don't know, the things are still quite blurry for my eye and I don't know, it started getting better in the beginning but then it kind of stalled so now I, I don't know if I can see better each day. I try to not think about it too much but uh, it is quite blurry on this eye when I'm looking like this, but it is sort of like a white um, Kind of like a shield above and underneath that it seems like there is a really good like crisp sharp vision underneath that But right now I think it's still healing and it's still a lot of things like going on in the eye so it is quite hard to focus with that eye so I don't know. Um, currently it is difficult to sit by the computer so I don't try to rest my eyes and just try to go out during the daytime and sit in cafes, listen to audiobooks and uh, try to enjoy my days off from work. I have been going, going through quite a many audiobooks through, during these days and I keep finding new gem pieces of books that I would love to make a video about so I will do a separate video on books that I've enjoyed reading and books that I will be reading. If you're interested in that I also have a Goodreads account that I can link down below and you can follow me there and we can be friends on Goodreads if you are also a person who likes to read a lot. These days I have been a little bit up and down because I was hoping that the vision was be getting a lot better each day and then it kind of stalled and then I started getting like uh, I don't know I started getting anxious and started thinking that maybe it's the haze going on again coming back into my eyes but I I don't know I read about it a little bit and uh, I just needed to remind myself that 
Haze is not something that will occur during the first few weeks because first it needs to heal the eye and uh, then after it's healed usually it becomes really good and then if there's scarring then the haze will form if that's the case but right now I think uh, this whole the white kind of shadow that it's in front of my eye that is probably just the healing process so I don't think there's anything to worry about I just need to stop thinking about it and just uh, get on with my life and and not worry too much. I will be traveling now to Gothenburg to my family over the next few days so I won't be filming during those days. Hopefully a couple of days rest with my family and being in Gothenburg will do its magic and make my eyes heal much faster and uh, then I'll be able to see more clearly. I would love to answer some of your questions. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, my name is Kimi Madeline on Instagram. And I also have a Twitter account, which I don't use that often. But sometimes when I'm writing poems, I link to that to my blog via my Twitter account because it's easier to kind of reach more people that are alike. If you're interested in following my blog, uh, my link is in the description. And currently I'm not updating my blog because I try not to use my computer too much. But uh, whenever I do have any posts, they will be in my blog. I'll be checking back as soon as I have anything else to update you guys on. So now I'm back from Gothenburg and it's May 30th. I'm almost on my third week, uh, today's Tuesday and on Thursday it will be three weeks officially after my surgery and um, I, I don't know, I can't remember that it took so long last time for my left eye to heal. This time is much much slower and it's much much more blurrier this time so um, I'm not sure if it's all working out as it should, but um, during the couple of days that I was in Gothenburg, my eyes, um, my eye, this one, uh, have become a little bit better, but it's still a little bit of a white film in front of the eye, so it is quite blurry, and uh, if I would only look with this one in front of a computer screen or my phone, I am not able to read anything actually. My checkup is in two weeks and I'm gonna check with them to see if it's necessary to have it much sooner because of this uh, problem but I'm hoping that it's not a big deal and it's just like some healing left to be done and um, yeah I'm going back to work next week so I hope that I will be able to read off the screen with both of my eyes without straining them or getting any headaches or anything. Um, in the beginning I tried doing some like when I'm paying my bills or something like that uh, I do feel that I have a lot of pain in this eye muscle and so I try not to do that type of work too much so I try to rest and uh, yeah. I'm gonna end this vlog right here and upload the part two. I will be making another update on this one as a separate video when it's been above one month after the surgery. Depending on what happens after a checkup, I will let you guys know how it's going. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.